Since 2007, Assassin's Creed has taken us to so many different locations, from starting in the Holy Lands as Altair in AC1, to meeting Ezio in Italy in AC2, and next on the cards we have Basim in Baghdad in AC Mirage. With also a bunch of other Assassin's Creed games announced, it got me thinking about the different locations I'd want us to head to next. So with that being said, here are my top 10 Assassin's Creed future settings, starting with Germany during World War I. Something I've always wanted from Assassin's Creed is ultimately to go around stealthily hunting down Nazis. I even have an idea for this, that whilst everyone thinks Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated by Bosnian Serb student Gavrilo Princip, you are actually the assassin hired by the Templars to take him out. You then realise your mistake, World War I begins, and then you eventually swap sides and join the assassins to take out German generals, spies, important figures, and anyone else who gets in your way. Part of the reason I lean more towards World War I over World War II is because back then, automatic weapons weren't so prevalent, so it wouldn't feel totally alien to primarily kill your enemies up close and personal, but then also be able to take them out from afar with a pistol or single shot rifle. I do appreciate, by the way, that in World War I we weren't technically fighting against the Nazis, but for the sake of this, we'll just leave it as it is. Just imagine stalking a Nazi through the streets of Berlin with your assassin's hood up, various propaganda and guards everywhere, finally assassinating your target, and then escaping a busy area, utilising a variety of different weapons and gadgets. This is something they've teased previously through World War I missions in AC Syndicate and World War II missions in AC Unity. It's always going to be something I'm keeping my fingers crossed for. The Spanish Conquest of the Aztec Empire the Aztec Empire, based in central Mexico, flourished from the year 1300 all the way up to 1521, where over a two-year period the Spanish, under the leadership of famous conquistador Hernán Cortés, conquered the Aztec Empire. Whatever the storyline might be, the setting would be absolutely beautiful. Large towering step pyramids, battles with warriors adorned in headdresses and war paint, all the while being invaded by a people whose technology is far superior. There is even in the near future, although not developed by Ubisoft, a new game called Ecumen Aztec, a third person survival action RPG, currently in development for PC, and due out in 2025. Depending on how well this game actually does, you may find our dreams of an Assassin's Creed game set with the Aztecs a little closer than we first thought. China during the fall of the Han Dynasty Now we have been to 16th century China in Assassin's Creed Chronicles, however I personally never found much enjoyment in any 2D games other than Mario and Rayman when I was just a young assassin myself. This would, however, take place in the late 2nd and early 3rd century, and if you've ever played the game Dynasty Warriors, all of those well-known characters could make an entrance. I see Dong Zhu as the antagonist of the game, perhaps you are a warrior of the Han family, being sent on secret missions to assassinate and aid their fight against the rebels. If anything, I could see this game perhaps slightly going down the more RPG-style route of Assassin's Creed games, but either way, I think it's a really interesting and brutal time period that I would love Ubisoft to explore, and from recent news, they basically are. We are actually heading to China in the future-planned Assassin's Creed codename Jade, the first open-world Assassin's Creed built for iOS and Android, set in 3rd century BCE China, the Warring States period, and the unification of China under the Qin Dynasty. The game footage does look promising, however this being an open-world mobile game, I am incredibly sceptical of how good this can be, as surely it can never compare to playing an AC game on console or PC. We are just going to have to keep our fingers crossed on that one. The American Civil War Now before you start typing your comments to tell me we've already had an AC game set during the American Civil War, we haven't. A common mistake, but Assassin's Creed 3 was actually set in the American Revolutionary War when the Americans finally managed to kick out the British, with the help of the French and the Spanish I might add. This setting would be absolutely perfect for an Assassin's Creed game, gunplay would be minimal but still prevalent, automatic weapons hadn't been invented yet, and I hope would be on the US side in this instance, fighting for the end of slavery, perhaps even meeting Abraham Lincoln himself. They could go so far, much like in AC3, to start this game as a young protagonist, 
perhaps even a slave brought over from Africa, who eventually as they get older somehow learns the ways of the assassins. A fun twist could even be that maybe old Abe Lincoln isn't as fantastic as he was made out to be, and perhaps even the final mission is you becoming his assassin. I appreciate this is of course in no way historically accurate, and it's just my ideas, but what is life without a little bit of fun? By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, do be a good assassin and punch that like and subscribe button as it would really help my channel out. The Trojan War In Greek mythology, the Trojan War was waged against the city of Troy after Paris of Troy took Helen from her husband, the king of Sparta. Like me, you're probably getting most of your ideas about the Trojan War from the 2004 film Troy starring Brad Pitt. This would take place 800 years before the events of AC Odyssey, set in Turkey, and as it's the Greeks who are being attacked, I wonder whether it could be a direct prequel to the game. Although the Trojan War is largely mythology with some historical evidence, the siege supposedly lasted for an insane 10 years, and I have no doubt that the team at Ubisoft could easily make a storyline and character arc within this. We do even fight a variety of mythological warriors in AC Odyssey, including Agamemnon and Achilles, another potential reason for it to be a prequel, and I see it taking us before the events of Troy, leading towards the fall of the city, perhaps playing as one of Achilles' closest allies, because let's be honest, who wouldn't want to fight alongside an oiled Brad Pitt? America during Prohibition now whilst this would be a very sort of different AC game, perhaps even a follow up game to my World War 1 suggestion, I am all behind this idea. In 1920 to 1933, America banned the sale of alcohol, causing a variety of criminal organisations to start fighting each other over its sale and distribution. Eventually this led to the creation of the mafia and organised crime networks, and because of this the different characters we'd be able to meet would be amazing. Notorious gangsters like Al Capone, Dino Banyan, Lucky Luciano, Bonnie and Clyde, Arnold Rothstein, and so many others. I see the gangs and Prohibition as a sort of side quest, with the main story developing alongside some of these characters. Walking the streets of Brooklyn or Chicago at night, jazz music, Tommy guns, everyone in suits, the vibe would just be incredible. Just build that world and pop some Assassin's Creed storyline between it, and I have no doubt it would be a bestseller. And yes, by the way, if you can't tell, I'm a massive fan of the HBO show Boardwalk Empire. The War of the Roses The War of the Roses were a series of civil wars fought for control of the English throne in the mid to late 15th century, actually during the childhood of the ultimate legend that is Ezio Adatori da Firenze. The conflict lasted for over 30 years, and whilst I know we've just had Assassin's Creed Valhalla also set in England, this would take us 800 years later, where the families of Lancaster and York would battle each other for control of the English throne. Many battles took place, and over the 30 year period the English crown actually changed hands 6 times. We'd get to enjoy cannons and castles, as well as taking out lots of enemies in full plated armour, enjoying life right at the end of the medieval period. The Crimean War Whilst perhaps not as well known as all my other wars and time periods, the Crimean War was fought from 1853 to 1856 between Russia and the victorious alliance of the Ottoman Empire, France and the United Kingdom. The Crimean War is known as one of the first modern wars, where railways, telegraphs and steamships were now commonplace, and it included huge artillery battles, naval battles and all-out open warfare. We all loved the naval battles in AC Black Flag, so to have something similar for me would be a dream come true. It also includes the very famous charge of the Light Brigade, which if you haven't heard of, was where a large group of cavalry mistakenly attacked Russian artillery directly, causing huge casualties and an immediate retreat. Whose side we might fight on, I am unsure, though one idea I love is potentially playing our protagonist who purposefully delivers the wrong orders, thus causing the charge of the Light Brigade. It would be a location and time period that Assassin's Creed hasn't really tried yet, and I hope one day that this dream of mine might come true. Feudal Japan Now I was slightly hesitant to leave this on the list, because as you probably know, and if you haven't, what rock are you living under? Last year Assassin's Creed announced Codename Red, showing us a 30 second trailer set in Feudal Japan. Since the incredibly popular Ghost of Tsushima was released, fans have been crying out for an Assassin's Creed game set in Japan. 
It's worth noting that Ghost of Tsushima was set during the first Mongol invasion of Japan in 1274, so personally I'd like to see Ubisoft do something a little different. In the year 1600, the Battle of Sekigahara took place involving 160,000 troops from Western and Eastern Japan. The events leading up to this battle were within a six month period, meaning there is definitely more than enough content in which Assassin's Creed could set this in. Now I feel, like many fans, this is the setting we've all been waiting for, and whilst Ubisoft have yet to deliver a release date for this, I cannot convey just how excited I am that we finally get to be an assassin in feudal Japan. The Scottish Wars for Independence now you've probably noticed a lot of my ideas have transpired from TV and film, and this final one is no different. I would love an Assassin's Creed game centred around the legendary William Wallace, though ideally with a better accent than Mel Gibson managed to give us in Braveheart. How we as an assassin would fit into this is again up for discussion, but there were so many battles fought in this campaign, as well as Wallace's brutal execution, then leading on to the rebellion of Robert the Bruce, until the eventual Scottish victory and purging of the English from Scottish land. King Edward, or Edward Longshanks, is also known as an incredibly mean king, and would make the perfect antagonist. Whilst he did supposedly die of dysentery, I see no reason why Assassin's Creed can't play the history a little loosely and give us a somewhat different ending. The Scottish Wars for Independence were also 500 years after the events of AC Valhalla, and whilst we did get to go to Ireland during our time as Eivor, we never managed to venture into Scotland, and I would love to see it in a future game. So there you have it, there are my top 10 locations and eras I would love Assassin's Creed to take us to next. I'm sure you have your own ideas too, so let me know down in the comments where you would like a future game based. And if you've ever wondered what the strongest builds in Assassin's Creed Valhalla is, just watch my next video.